It was a cold one tonight as the Northern Illinois Huskies traveled to take on the Ohio Bobcats. Both teams played well defensively, but a questionable call in the fourth quarter secured the Huskies' 21-14 victory. The first quarter was almost all defensive play. The Bobcats held the Huskies to a three and out on their first possession and only gave up one first down during their second possession. Each team was forced to punt the ball twice in the first quarter, but Northern Illinois put together a drive towards the end of the first. Drew Hare connected with his favorite target, Deron Brown, for three of his five catches on the night during this drive. The Huskies managed to drive down to the two-yard line before the quarter ended. To start the second, Cameron Stingley punched it in for the first score of the night to give the Huskies a 7-0 lead. The Bobcats responded as well, but with more of a ground game to drive down the field. A.J. Ouellette had 62 of his 127 yards on this drive, including his 12-yard break free into the end zone to tie the game at 7. The defense began to take over the game once again and slowed down both offenses for the rest of the half and also into the third quarter. As the Huskies were about to cross midfield, Ian Wells forced a fumble that was recovered by Casey Sales. Unfortunately for the Bobcats, Northern Illinois intercepted Darius Vick's pass on the very next play, and the Huskies capitalized on that turnover. The Ohio defense bit hard on the screen pass to Akeem Daniels as he strolled into the end zone from 32 yards out to give NIU the 14-7 lead. At the start of the fourth quarter, the Bobcats offense gained a spark as Vick found a hole and burst downfield for a gain of 29 yards. Vick found Ouellette over the middle for a second touchdown on the night to tie the game at 14. Northern Illinois put together a quick drive that ended with an 18-yard touchdown pass from Hare to Chad Beebe to give them the touchdown advantage once again. Ohio was driving downfield, but a fumble halted their drive as the Huskies ran out the clock for the victory. The Bobcats will end their regular season next week when they travel to take on the Miami Redhawks in the Battle of the Bricks. And with a win over Miami, the Bobcats will become bowl eligible for the sixth straight season. For WOUB Sports, I'm Anthony Bacco.